Hello everyone, welcome to the final week of the Lafayette season and it's the big one, Lafayette and Lehigh facing off over in Bethlehem at 12 o'clock. It's going to be a great game and in the last couple weeks Lehigh has really advanced their offense. They play better defense, they're scoring points, they seem to be a very formidable opponent unlike maybe four or five weeks ago where you really thought Lafayette was going to take it to them. So let's look at a lot of the statistics. Each week, each week we talk about uh, the players and what the Lafayette team should do offensively and defensively. Well, let's just look at the numbers. So Lafayette Lehigh by the numbers, obviously. Let's talk about scoring offense. You know, Lafayette in the first six games of the season put up 123 points. Lehigh a dismal nine points. In the last four games, 101 points Lehigh has put up to Lafayette's 50. So Lafayette offense really needs to get it going. If you talk about scoring offense, Lafayette's averaging about 17.2, Lehigh about 11. So you got to give the check mark right there to the Leopards. Scoring defense, Lehigh's given up about 27 and a half, Lafayette 24 and a half. That's pretty much a wash. Both teams are going to give up some points. I expect a high scoring game over in Bethlehem. Rushing offense, this is an area that Lafayette put up 100 yards rushing, over 100 yards rushing in the first half last week. In the second half, obviously not as good, but they averaged close to 100 yards. Lehigh finding their running game just in the last couple weeks. Last week, couple weeks ago, they had five running backs reach the end zone for five rushing touchdowns. So I got to give the check mark right there to Selwyn Simpson, to Jaden Sutton, and obviously Michael Hayes. Rushing defense right here. Lafayette in the last couple weeks has given up an enormous amount of rushing yards. So you know what? I'm going to give the check mark to the, uh, uh, the Mountain Hawks on that side. They are playing good defense. And if you remember the game in 2019, a lot of blitzing up the middle, a lot of A-gap stuff. And uh, Hafner, the linebacker for Lehigh, is terrific. So Lafayette has to be prepared for blitz. And tackles for losses can put the Lafayette offense behind the sticks. Third down conversion. This is a huge one right here. Can you stay on the field? Can you convert? Lafayette's converting about 35%. That's not really good. You want to be up around 40 to 44%. Lehigh, a dismal 27%. So can the Lafayette offense stay on the field, continue to put points on the field, use their great freshman kicker, uh, Micah Pettit, to put points on the board and get that special teams back in shape? And then lastly, turnover margin. You can see why one of these teams has two wins and one of these teams has three wins. Lafayette with a minus three in turnover margin, Lehigh with a minus eight. That could be huge. If you turn the ball, a ball over in this game, it is going to end up being a whitewash in one way or another. The last thing I talk about is energy, excitement, and enthusiasm. This game is a roller coaster. When one team gets up, gets some good plays, the other team's got to weather that storm. And when you're playing on the grass, over in Bethlehem in an away situation for a team that's up and coming and playing better, you have to control your emotions. You have to have energy, excitement, and mostly enthusiasm. So who's going to come out and who's going to play football this weekend? The X's and O's don't mean anything. It's who's going to come out, who's going to have the energy, who's going to play football on Saturday at 12 o'clock. I'll see you there with Gary at 12 o'clock.